YouTube viewers. Rectangular here, Just putting up a quick video, haul video, of some items I got recently. This is a really beautiful figure. I don't normally collect Marvel Legends icons, um, but I was interested in possibly making or um, getting somebody to make for me a Marvel uh, giant girl uh, who is actually Wasp uh, Janet Pym when she transforms into uh, the equivalent of Giant Man, uh, which she ra very rarely does. Um, but I'm really hesitant now because this figure is quite beautiful. I uh, really love the paint job. It's a great sculpt. Um, I'm not a huge X-Men fan, um, but Phoenix is kind of uh, ties both uh, Avengers and X-Men together, I guess. Um, in some way or another. Anyway, um, of course she's uh, 12 inches. I'll quickly show the outside of the box. The regular version is the green with the uh, normal eyes. Um, And as you can see, she has the white, dark, she's the Dark Phoenix, um, which I don't know a whole lot about the character. I know uh, Jean Grey um, becomes the Phoenix. Anyway, got really awesome uh, gold color all throughout the figure. Alright, next. If you've seen previous videos of mine, you know that I'm a big fan of uh, Planet of the Apes. And this figure is actually pretty hard to find um, in on online stores at least. I know Big Bad Toy Store um, has had it for $25 uh, plus shipping and um, the manufacturer um, I think these might be um, quality control rejects because mine has got a red spot on his uh, belly there so um, just keep that in mind you, you um, I got this off of uh, eBay and I believe the manufacturer has been um, selling these directly on eBay and the reason I know that um, is that the back of the package has got the address um, in China where it comes from and uh, when mine arrived I looked on the return shipping um, label um, from customs and uh, it's the same address. So this is a really cool figure. He's got a removable head and hands and he comes with a, a couple of cool accessories. You can see he comes with a spare head that's got uh, open mouth. He's got this uh, canister of uh, whatever they bio material in it. Um, one, two, three, four, spare hands, a uh, spear, and some sort of uh, improvised axe. And um, I have to specify that uh, I'm actually not a big fan of the um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes movie. Um, was I'm much more uh, I'm a big fan of the original. Um, movie with uh, Charlton Heston um, and uh, a couple of the sequels that followed were pretty good um, but uh, I 
primarily got this because it's a six inch scale figure and uh I've seen a lot of guys in the ACBA community um doing some cool stuff with him. Um so yeah, that's pretty much why I got this guy. <clears throat> And I can fix that little red spot on him. No big deal. Next up we've got the X-Men Classics Beast. Um, like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of the X-Men per se, um, but I am a big fan of the Avengers, which Beast was a member of. And although Beast uh, in the Avengers traditionally... Um, has got his uh, typical costume where he does not have, uh, I think he's just wearing um, kind of like a bathing suit, uh, has no shirt, um, no shirt and no uh, pants. Um, I just really liked the accessories and the sculpt. Um, the costume was really cool on this beast. And... Um, Thanks to Solid Snake, I actually uh gonna be getting the um this is the non variant, the variant um I'll be getting that as well. And uh um depending on actually I think I like this costume better, I'll probably put the uh non variant head on this figure. Um just so that he looks a little bit more like he does in the comics. Um, this guy's got really awesome paint applications. I know um, Century Productions did a good, really good review of this guy, so I'm not going to bother um, taking him out of the package and doing that whole... Um, I'm not... not My focus is not going to be on... Uh, Figure reviews, especially on ones that people have done already done. So, if I see a, if I have a figure that um, nobody else has done a review on, um, or nobody's done a um, good review on, then I might consider it. All right, moving on to last but definitely not least is Vision, in particular Phasing Vision. And Vision is uh, one of my favorite Avengers. Um, now, to be fair, I have not read a lot of uh, comics, um, but I um, have watched uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes and um, read up on a lot of these characters. Um, so I just really like the powers that uh, Vision has and I like his um, his origin story and um, um, he's got a pretty cool costume um, but uh, if you haven't seen uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes definitely check that out the episodes with the, the when he first confronts the Avengers um, that's could that's probably my favorite episode um, of the entire uh, animated series, and also love translucent figures. Um, I've got uh, him and the phasing um, scrolls and the uh, phasing invisible women woman figures, and um, those are some of my favorites. So real quick, I just wanted to go over um, some of the articulation or lack thereof on this figure. Um, unfortunately, if you want to get this figure into a natural um, chimpanzee low crouching walk, um, this is kind of the best that you're going to be able to do. Uh, his head does not look up very far and the legs unfortunately they are hindered by the hip joints or not um, cut very high 
so you can't I mean even I'm turning them sideways instead of naturally forward and that's really the best that you're gonna get out of this um, you know you can kind of get him in an angry swinging pose probably the best that you're going to do on that. Um, and the paint flakes off pretty easily as well, um, you know, in the joints where you're going to run into those uh, articulation issues. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, I guess if you got some money to spare, you can uh, buy another one and have a customizer try to modify that um, head and maybe open up the uh, the hip joints, um, hip sockets a little better. And I also just wanted to show um, some of the accessories that he comes with. Um, that's what the hands look like. I do like how they um, didn't just make them solid. They are, um, yeah, there's some more paint chipping off. They, did put a joint on there. Um, they could have easily just, gosh, that paint just really chips off. Could have just easily made these solid and um, and just had one, whoa, one set that's articulated. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's the head that he comes with in the package. And there's the little canister. quite nice and you can use that for other things like Iron Man or Hank Pym in their lab and uh, here's the little axe accessory and the spear and I just wanted to quickly show off how cool Beast is and pretty soon I will be showing the uh, Tech Beast and a couple of the other um, figures that I got that will um, round out my Avengers uh, collection. So, hope you guys enjoyed it and that you will like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you soon.